you guys, Beth Brutality here today with a review. I will actually be reviewing both PorkDaisy.com and the products that they sent me. So what is PorkDaisy.com? Uh, PorkDaisy.com is a website that has discounted NYX products. Um, they have really, really fast shipping, really good customer service, and I was really excited to do this review for them. So they sent me some products, and they're all um, NYX HD products. Most of them are NYX HD products, I should say, actually. Um, and I'm really excited to do this review because the products got here so super fast. Um, they've all been working out really, really well for me, and they were actually quite the pleasure to work with. Um, so there will be a link below to their website. You guys can check out everything they have on there. Um, right now, it's all just discounted NYX stuff, anywhere from like 10% up to like 25%. Um, they have a little bit of everything. They have the jumbo eye pencils. They have the lip liners, the eyeliners. You know, they have everything. They have a whole bunch of the HD line. Um, they are based, I believe, out of California. And uh, the products got to me in like two days. So that was really, really good shipping. Um, they're really helpful via email. So the customer service is really good. Let's just jump into this. The first product they sent me that I want to talk about is the um, HD Studio Primer. And the box looks like this. And it just kind of talks about how it works on the back of the box. And the actual product the bottle looks like this. Um, I will do a little swatch of the color and I have some makeup on the back of my hand so I hope you guys don't mind. Um, it is a slightly off-white like bluish green color as you guys can see there. Um, it blends in really easily. It seems it's, it's about the same consistency as a liquid foundation um, so you do have to rub it in but as you rub it in it does disappear and I wish I could see what you guys are seeing right now because I can't see the back of my own hand. Um, but then it kind of disappears, and as you can see, I'm, well, maybe you can't tell, but my pores are, like, gone in the back of my hand now. So it does a really good job of um, filling in pores. I don't, I haven't noticed any breaking out or anything, so I don't think it's blocking my pores, but it does fill in the pores and make them disappear. Um, it does give your skin a very soft finish, and that way you can move on to foundation. Um, it does have a bluish-green tone, and I think that's to cancel out redness. Um, once I put it on, my skin does look slightly paler, but it also cancels out all of my redness. Well, not all of it, but a large majority of it. And I have a lot of redness across this area. So, I'm a huge fan of this. Uh, it works really, really well. Um, it does a fantastic job of forming a barrier between your skin and your foundation, which is what primers are supposed to do. Um, but this one goes the extra mile and also makes your skin look really, really good. Um, so, I've been using this for like the last two weeks, uh, except for I took a few days off to try the foundation I'm going to talk about by itself. But then I also... Um, use this with my Mac and um, I've been having some problems with my Mac Pro Longwear. Um, I don't know if you guys know but if you have oily skin the oil in your skin can saturate the pigments of your foundation and kind of make them change color throughout the day uh, and by the end of the day I was looking like an Oompa Loompa. Uh, my, my oily skin was saturating this just certain pigments and my Mac Pro Longwear that was turning the foundation like almost an orange color. Like it was turning very very deep yellow orange. Um, and that is obviously not cute. <laughs> do not want to look like an Oompa Loompa. So um, I was kind of up in arms about that. wasn't sure what to do. Um, obviously, I don't want to stop wearing it. So this came just in time, and this actually kept it from changing. The When I used this, it made the color stay the right color the entire day. There was no um, change in pigmentation. So I was pretty excited about that because uh, I obviously don't want to throw away half a bottle of a foundation. Um, and, you know, my skin's just changing because the weather's changing, so my skin's getting more oily now that it's becoming warmer. Um, so I was noticing a huge problem with that. So, this saved the day. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the NYX HD uh, foundation, and this is what the box looks like. And again, on the back, it just explains what it does to make it HD. And the actual bottle looks exactly like the primer bottle, actually. And the finish is a little different on the bottle. This one is more of a glossy bottle. And this one is more of a, like, matte bottle. I know this may not be a big deal, but to some people, you care about those kind of things. Um, and the color on this, I am an NC20. So this color is probably a shade lighter than it needed to be for my NC20 skin. But I don't think I'm quite an NC20. Um, the NC20 is a little too pigmented for me. So I'm thinking maybe of trying out NC15 with my next bottle of foundation. Um, so this is probably closer to like an NC15 because uh, it was slightly too light on me, but I think that has to do with the fact that because it does have photo reflecting properties, it's going to be slightly lighter on your skin like HD powder is. Um, so I do like this color. This color does work for me very, very well. This is nude, 
So again, NC20, this is nude. Uh, if you guys have any other questions on color match, just ask me below and I'll tell you what other foundations I have. Um, cause I know that it's kind of a pain in the butt, but, um, I love this foundation. Um, I have used it without the primer without the primer. It does give decent coverage and, um, it's slightly different in finish without the primer, but it does work without the primer. However, if you want a flawless look, you're going to want to use this with the primer. With the primer, this makes my skin just literally flawless. Um, I've been using the primer, then this, and then topping it with my e.l.f. HD powder. And that's what I have on today. Like, my skin just looks so good when I do that. It just looks flawless. Um, as far as the finish goes with this, it has a really, really nice natural finish. Uh, I love it for that. It, it's not a dewy finish, and it's not a matte finish. It's just very natural. It looks like skin. It just looks like your natural skin, which is really, really nice when that's what you want. And let's be honest, in photos, most of the time, you want to look like your skin looks good, not that you have on makeup. So this is really, really good for that. Um, it does have a pump. It has the exact same bottle as the primer. You know, they're exactly the same. They both have the pump, um, which I'm a huge fan of. Um, I don't know about how how much coverage I would say this has. Um, it is buildable. I would say it's medium to full coverage. Um, because it is slightly light on me, I probably notice it more so than I would if it were a perfect match. Um, but like I said, I do like this color on me quite a bit, so I don't think I would buy a different color. Um, I do think I like the slightly lighter color than if I use something slightly darker. Um, so I do like this foundation quite a bit. It's probably in my top five of all-time favorite foundations that I've ever used. So I definitely recommend this, um, but I would definitely check out swatches or like compare with other people with the same um, color tone as you in order to find a correct match because, as we all know, um, online swatches typically are not good. So... Um, NYX's swatches are no exception, they're just not that great, and Pork Daisy uses NYX's, fa uh, swatches, so definitely look it up in other, like, blogs and other videos and stuff to see what color you need. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the NYX HD Studio Photo Photogenic Grinding Blush. They all have photogenic in the title, and I'm awful at saying that word, so I'm just skipping it each time. Um, but that's what the full names are, is HD Studio Photogenic. Um, this is the Grinding Blushes box, and I got it in Menage a Trois. And it is aptly named for the fact that it is a combination of a coral, peach, and gold color. Let me show it to you guys. Um, this, so this is the packaging. The cap unscrews and then lifts off. And it looks like this. So it's similar to the um, Smashbox Halo products, stuff like that. Um, I'm not exactly certain exactly why it's, like, why you grind it each time you use it. I think it's supposed to make it to where it's a better texture to use each time. Um, but I'm not... I'm not entirely certain I saw a huge um, difference between grinding and regular blush. Um, however, I do like this a lot. So if if grinding is the way you get this product, then so be it, because it works really, really well. Um, it has really good texture. It goes on really, really well. It's buildable. Um, so you can t start off with just kind of like a nice, just a little bit of tone to your cheeks, or you can build it up to something very, very bold. Um, and like this color is just perfect because it is coral, peach, and gold shimmer. Because it is that perfect marriage of those three colors, it, I don't think there would be a skin tone that it would look bad on, to be honest. Coral and Peach both flatter different skin tones, but together, I feel like this color could take on the world. <laughs> it, should, it should look good on just about anybody. Um, and then the gold shimmer is very, very subtle. You know, it's not like over the top. It doesn't make, it doesn't look like a super shimmery blush or anything like that. Because I don't really like shimmery blushes on me because then my highlight kind of disappears because I'm so damn pale. <laughs> um, but I do really, really like this. I really like this color a lot. Um, I've been wearing it a lot for the last two weeks and kind of pairing it with some other colors. Um, it looks really, really good with Instant Chic by MAC, um, but wish that was a limited edition color and I don't know what to compare it to. Um, I have worn it with some of my mineral blushes and it looked really, really good. Um, so just in, in general, if you're not sure about what color to get, like maybe you're not sure if you should use pinky tones or corals or peaches, go with Menage a Trois. Like it's, I know I'm saying that wrong, and if you speak French, I am so sorry. But <laughs> I really, I'm sorry I keep calling it the package too. <laughs> I really, really like this color. Um, and when I'm out, I'm definitely going to repurchase. I freaking love it. I don't know of any other color that's exactly like this, so if you do, feel free to comment below with any dupes for this, because it is just a gorgeous color. Um, one thing I forgot to show with the packaging is that there is a mirror in the lid, but I swirl in the lid, so it's kind of dusty. can't really use the mirror. I mean, I can still see myself, but it's all dusty. 
Um, a lot of people I have seen complain about the packaging, the fact that it doesn't actually seal down. So if you're carrying this in a bag or anything, I guess any excess grindings kind of make a giant mess. Um, I haven't really had a problem with that because my products go from my vanity to my storage area directly next to it. They're not getting, you know, knocked around. They're not going upside down or anything like that. Um, so I have not noticed any problems with that personally. However, um, I don't carry makeup like in my purse or anything like that. So if that is a concern for you, you might want to have a little heads up on that. Um, so like I said, this is like my favorite color right now. Um, and what's really nice too is because it is buildable, it'll be good for both winter and spring, you know, when my skin starts to get a little bit more pigmented from me being out in the sun. I shouldn't say pigmented, I should say a little more tan. <laughs> um, I'll be able to build this up a little bit more and it'll still look really, really good. So, favorite color right here, uh, Holy Grail Blush right there. Huge fan. Um, like I said, the texture is really, really nice. Um, not sure if that has to do with the grinding or if that's just the blush is just really good. Um, it does say on the box that the grinding blush is good for all skin types. It softens lines. Uh, light diffusing effect is perfect coverage for studio photos or taking fun pics with pals. Hmm, that's kind of cheesy. I like that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I do think that maybe the grinding quality has to do with it being pressed um, because of the products in it to make it HD. Um, but like I said, I don't know much about grinding blushes or why powders are pressed to be ground, so take that part with a thimble with me because uh, I don't really know the properties behind that. Not a scientist. The last thing they sent me is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Um, just looks like that. It's really pretty. They And I got it in Istanbul. Um, I originally wanted it in Tokyo, but I read online everywhere and I looked at a bunch of online swatches and um, a lot of people were like, oh, it's like it's like zombie pink. It's so pale. Um, I don't really like it, blah, blah, blah. So I didn't get Tokyo and now I wish I had. Um, for me, I am both really, really pale and I also have naturally very, very rosy lips. So whenever I wear this, I have to tone out my natural lip color to get the true color for this because my natural lip color overpowers this just a little and it's just enough to change the color to where it's not what I wanted it to be. Um, in general though, these are really, really pigmented. They look really, really good. Um, I don't think I would have a problem with the pigmentation on this if it weren't for my naturally very rosy red lips. Um, so what I've been doing is I apply a lip balm about 10, 15 minutes before I put this on. You know, when I start to do my makeup and after I've done my foundation, I put on my lip balm. Um, and that's just something I do on the regular. And that way, by the time I'm ready to put on my lip products, my lips are nice and soft. A complaint that usually comes with matte lip products is that they dry out your lips. Um, I haven't had any problems with this drying out my lips. I wouldn't put this on chapped lips. Um, you're definitely going to want hydrated lips to put it on, but I mean, I've put it on my lips when they weren't quite hydrated and not had a big problem with it. Um, the texture is really nice. It's really creamy since it is a lip cream. Um, it's somewhere between a gloss and a lipstick, and I like it a lot. So I have been using this with NYX's lip liner in Flower, and I'll just show you guys what that looks like. So this is Flower, and even when I put on Flower, it's really hard to see on my lips because my lips are so naturally rosy. So I put this on, and then I put on this, and I usually get about the nat natural color. Um, and as you can see, I have that combination on right now, and it is pretty close to true color because of that. Um, like I said, on somebody else, it probably wouldn't be a problem. And I will do a little swatch on my hand. Don't want to waste very much, though, because I'm in love with it. So this is what it looks like. And I love the way this smells. It smells like vanilla icing or like cupcakes or something. Like, it just smells really, really good. It has a nice, sweet, desserty smell. But it's not, like, fake sugary. So, like I said, the texture is really nice. The color payoff is brilliant. And... It smells really good. Um, the packaging is really nice too, you know, no concern that it's going to break or leak or anything like that. Um, it doesn't look like it's ever going to really get gross. You know how some lip, lip glosses will build up in the top and kind of make a big mess. Um, I don't see that happening with this one uh, just because the texture of the cream is perfect where that won't happen and also the packaging is well designed. So that is about all I have to talk about. Um, like I said, I definitely recommend Pork Daisy. Um, I loved the customer service. The shipping was super fast, um, and the products are cheaper on their website than what you would get them in store or from another website. Uh, and it's always discounted. You know, it's always 10% up to 25% off. 
Um, they do have, you know, all the hot new palettes, like the Nude on Nude. Um, I believe it's called the All I Ever Wanted palette. I don't know. I keep meaning to look up the name of that actual palette, but it's like the really fancy NYX one that has like a ton of products in it. They have that on there at a discounted price. Um, and I will post all of these products below with a link to where they are on Pork Daisy um, and the regular price. I might not post the link. I might just post one basic link out so you guys can look at everything at once. But um, I will post like regular price and Pork Daisy price. That way you guys can kind of compare um, how much you're saving just by using Pork Daisy. Um, Alright you guys, that is about all I have today. If you guys have any specific questions about any of the products I talked about today, please just let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to get back with you. Bye.